Have you ever thought about a church production? You know, we do a living cross here at Black Oak every year. And God's just really uh, put a passion in my heart to see us go to a deeper level with what we do with the living cross. I mean, in a church production, is it about our acting abilities or our great singing abilities and having our friends and family come and tell us what a great job we did? And God's really just put it on my heart that it's about encouraging brothers and sisters, those who are in the faith, but it's also, more importantly, about reaching people who need to know Christ, who need to know the hope that Christ gives them. That's why we should do that. In December, I went with our college kids to New York City on a mission trip, and we went to the Brooklyn Tabernacle. I was ready to be enamored and blown away by the great choir that they have. And we saw a drama, the choir didn't even sing. But you see, that church was focused, the staff was focused, those in the drama were focused. They were focused on not doing a production or to do a production for production's sake. They were there to see lives changed. I know this because a young lady sitting in front of me named Latoya was brought by a friend. And when they gave the invitation, I saw Latoya stand to give her life to Christ and go forward when they gave the invitation. I was moved. And that night, God began to lay it on my heart. At Black Oak Heights, when we do our productions, when we do the Living Cross, are we maximizing our efforts? Because it's really not about the production. It's about seeing people come to know Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. To understand that this Christ who has risen can be there for them, can be their hope. He can change their lives. You might notice all around me empty seats. How is it that Black Oak Heights will be able to fill these seats? How is it that the people filling these seats' lives will be able to be changed as we do our production? It'll be by you being concerned about them and having a burden for them. We're starting what we call Project Andrew. And in Project Andrew, we're asking you to bring your friends to Jesus. You see, Andrew knew where Jesus was gonna be. He found out the very house where Jesus would come. And so he went and he got his brother Simon as quickly as possible. And he pulled Simon to that house where Jesus was gonna be because he knew that Jesus could change his brother's life. That's what Project Andrew is all about. It's for you to have the opportunity to bring in your family members, your friends, your coworkers, your schoolmates, those people you come in contact with on a daily basis and to fill all of these empty seats, not so that we can have an auditorium full of people, but so more people can come to know Jesus Christ as their personal Savior, so that more people can understand that this risen Savior can actually change their lives in 2016. Will you join with us in Project Andrew?